In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and customize your profile malleable. And you can apply it on curtain wall. This curtain wall could be a flat, horizontal, and curvature shape. And in our case today, we are going to apply it as a wooden flat. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start with the, <coughs> the basic straight line curtain wall. So to create our family, so that, that means that we can use it in a different kind of surfaces, shapes and geometry. Uh, not only as a straight or flat so let's start with the flat one first you have to know that you need to divide it vertically or horizontally as you want in the project so for me I will divide it as a vertical slats so for that we can go here curtain wall Edit type and don't forget to duplicate wooden slats. Okay, and for the vertical grid, fix distance. The distance between the the grids. This is the first grid, and this is the second grid, and he and this is the whole curtain wall so you are dividing the distance between the grids so the more minimum you go for the spacing the higher you you, you are increasing the number of uh, the slots so let's go with 150 okay as you can see here the, the the number is divided of course it's hidden because we, we still we didn't add a family and as you see here it's an empty panels that's mean ready to host a, a family okay to create you can use either you use by default a million vertical millions in interior type interior type that you are adding the millions or adjusting the millions that in place inner and the border one and, put, and border two this one is border one and this one is border two so we don't we don't want to play with the borders right now we just need to focus with interior here you can find multiple family a profiles for the million and, and this is by default in Revit. So for example, I want to show you how it looks if you apply this. So as you can see, it's, I don't know if uh, you want to increase the spacing, decrease it, but let's go and create our own million. Going by new family and look for profile million. Okay, so here the interior and exterior. Interior mean you are creating the profile facing the interior side or the exterior side. So in this case, I want to create the slots. To be uh, directed to to exterior side. Let's adjust the unit first. Millimeter. Okay. For me, I'm going to use fifty by hundred. And let's keep it in the center. Okay. So, for example, if you if you imagine this is the wall side and this slots will be fixed on the wall so that's why I placed uh, behind this center line so directed to the exterior side 
and let's name it as a or no yeah now it's loaded in the in the project so you can go and click check any mo any any mullion unpin go to edit type duplicate and name 50 by 100 name your million 50 by 100 going to profile I think it's family 2 aluminium let's have it as a wood okay and okay so see this is our custom money to apply for the whole grids you can go to the edit type and search for wooden 50 by 100 that we just named it and you can see it's, it's applied and if you want to, to test the spacing you can increase it as you can see if you are happy with that so now you, you have your a curtain one family named wooden slots that you can use it anywhere for example let's apply it on a complex shape like this I have it already I did it by mass it's very easy just you have to to go to the architecture tab a curtain system and click if you can see it's highlighted when you just moving your the, the cursor to the next to the surface and you can see the plus mark next to the cur cursor one click then go to the create system up there and here you are okay but I don't think it will be applied automatically you have to to make sure that you can you you go by clicking here and fix in this case because it's not a, a, a uniform shape there is grid 1 and grid 2 grid 1 is the vertical one grid tool is the horizontal one so the grid 1 in this case is the vertical so the spacing would be 150 yeah and the profile million that we just created you added in the grid 1 millions interior type and it's applied here so if you want to see it without the massing yeah yes here and you can hide this and the uh, interesting thing that if you did a change with the speed with the surface for example if you move this up or you just increase the height press K and just go just go on the surface and you can find update to face and it's see one more time Okay, update to face and boom. So I think it's uh, updating. And if you want to hide, for me, I'm hiding this part. Yeah, just hide the mess. okay sorry for the camera is off uh, the last thing that I want to show you is uh, creating a, a horizontal um, wooden slats or mullions uh, for your ceiling interior design for me I'm using a generic models to create just 
a rectangle simple rectangle that fits the room I don't care about the depth because we will hide this object but the most important the button because if you if you want to create you have to pick the bottoms the bottom uh, surface as we did before the bottom create surf system and hide this and now you have the interior that you can later adjust the lights in between or any other stuff you want for your ceiling design okay that's for today see you next one and uh, if you want to join the telegram channel uh, it's a clean community that we can share um, the, the scripts, grasshopper scripts or files, tips, tricks, anything that we can help each other and uh, learn together.